close your eyes and take refuge inside. As the Buddha said, the self has to be its own refuge. Who else can be your refuge? We look to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and basically as examples for how true happiness is found. Because that's what refuge is all about, finding happiness, finding safety. And we realize it's something we have to do for ourselves. The Buddha gives the instructions. The Sangha shows how it's done, how those instructions are followed. But it's up to us to actually follow them whenever there's any unhappiness in our lives. Turn around and look inside. Things outside may be miserable, but the mind doesn't have to suffer from the things outside. If it is suffering, okay, look at what it's doing. This is one of the reasons why we meditate, to get the mind really, really still so we can see what it's doing. Otherwise, we're in the action so much we don't see it. But when we can step back, then we can see, oh, we're doing this, we're doing this, this is what's making us miserable. We can stop doing it. That's the good news. As the Buddha said, if people couldn't abandon unskillful qualities and develop skillful ones in their place, he wouldn't have taught. But here he did teach, which shows that he has confidence in us. And so we should have confidence in ourselves that this is something we can do. We can find safety through our own efforts. So we try to be mature in how we find happiness, because that's what makes all the difference. Everybody's looking for happiness. Everyone's looking for well-being. Everything we do and say and think is for the sake of well-being. But for some, many of us, it's done in delusion, done in ignorance, which is why it ends up, ends up causing suffering. If you could step back and look at the human race, this would be the big issue in the human race, is everybody wants happiness and they're clamoring and fighting and one another, and just doing things that destroy their happiness, and yet they don't realize what they're doing. It's when you step back and try the Buddhist way. So it's not just reflection, but it's also commitment. You commit yourself to doing what the Buddha taught, and then you reflect on what you're doing, and then you begin to develop your own powers of judgment so you can see what's causing suffering, what's not causing suffering. And you become a more and more reliable judge of your own actions. That's when you can take refuge in yourself. Otherwise you flounder around grasping hold of this, grasping hold of that, and nothing provides any real satisfaction, because the more you cling, the more you're going to suffer. So learn to look inside. Try the Buddha's approach. In other words, if there's suffering in the mind, look inside for the cause. And when you see it, it's something you can realize you've, you've been doing it yourself, and you can stop doing it. You don't have to keep on doing it. And that's when we begin to see the true value of the Buddha's teachings. Up, up until that point, when you can see yourself letting go of something you've been holding on to that's causing suffering, up until that point, it's just news. The Buddha says this, the Buddha says that. But when you can see inside that this is really true, then it's, that's the way it is, that's the way it is. That's when you know that your refuge is secure.